Hello everyone. I want to thank you all for attending to this new webinar of the BACAD. In our previous webinar, we had the opportunity to discover some of the main features and tools of the software. However, in this webinar, I want to focus a little bit more on how to use these powerful commands and features in a more practical manner. Therefore, I want to show you uh, really quickly how fast we can create a, a simple floor plan in the BACAD. Before starting, I want to let you know that you can send us any questions during this webinar. Just uh, use the control panel with the questions inspector to your right. So just type any questions or feedback you have and we will answer them one by one after the end of the webinar. Also, I want to take the opportunity to show you our website. Uh, here you can find uh, further information of, about the software, you can download the, the beta version, which gives you um, access to test the software during three months. Also, you can find the user manual, video tutorials, practical examples with real projects, and a support page that um, you can use to send us your technical issues that you may encounter, or any feedback, ideas, anything that you want and uh, create this uh, simple floor plan using these commands that I was telling you about. So the first thing that we can use is the construction toolbar. Is this one over here that allows you to create uh, walls, jewelry items, insert pillars, um, cavities, elevation, view of staircases. Um, this one is very powerful and gives the back cat its unique nature to be able to deal with geometry and floor plans in a much faster and efficient way. So I'm going to start with the wall tool and now I indicate a direction and type length 22 meters for example. Here you can see that the insertion side of the wall is in the interior side but if I press F5 it will jump into the other side of the wall. Okay so I'm going to keep it in this side insertion and go for another length which will be 5.74 so let me just finish with this one I can disable the ortho mode by pressing F8 and now click on this point to close the loop of external walls of the project so this time I'm going to use a different um, uh, wall insertion method which will be the parallel wall function so I click on it and now I have to type the parallel wall distance which will be 3.40 enter and now I indicate this reference specify this reference and now I have to click in the direction to create the parallel wall of 10 centimeters and at exactly 3.40 from this reference as you can see with the back um, we can automatically fix and um, eliminate all the intersections lines so you don't have to spend time in deleting these extra lines and uh, will automatically create the sections of the walls depending on its intersections as you can see all right so now I want to extend uh, this line this wall for this I can use the lengthen shorten tool just have to click on it I indicate or specify this point specify the direction of the lengthen direction and now type the distance the length I just have to use this intersection tool that's for construction uh, toolbar and now I click on this wall and automatically I get all these intersections fixed and the walls are divided in sections okay so I can use the virtual menu which is double clicking here I will restart the function that I've double clicked on which is the wall tool and it will restart with its um, with its attributes so after doing a double click here I will get the um, the wall tool activated with the C and color with the thickness and now I can just click on this and keep drawing you can see that the ortho mode is disabled so I enable it by pressing F8 and now indicate direction and type the distance which is 1.75 and the same way I create walls really quickly I can delete the sections and fix the intersections automatically so I left click and right click with the eraser tool and as you can see I have deleted this wall 
and the intersections have been fixed. Let's restart the function. I delete this one, this one. I'm going to delete also this one over here. Okay, now we got it. I'm going to move on for the next function, which is the January January items window or function for this I have to click on this icon here and you get this window that allows you to use pre-default or preset doors windows and wardrobes with different parameters and attributes also note that you can use your own uh, blocks uh, saved in your library with different types of doors windows and wardrobes and uh, after just a few and very simple adjustment adjustments you will be able to use them as the journey items and interact uh, with the walls of the back hat. So I'm going, in this case, I'm going to use the, the default ones. So I'm going to start with the doors. I can create a double door or single door or a door opening. Let's go for the double door, which is going to be in the center uh, with respect to the wall thickness at a fixed distance from the closest corner of this make it uh, 15 centimeters then the main slab of this double door will have a width of 90 centimeters for example and the second slab the smaller one will be 0 0.5 okay so after setting these basic adjustments or settings i can press ok i get the symbol here and now i can change the color to magenta for example so now after setting a um, fixed distance of 15 centimeters, if I go to this point, you'll see that the door will snap automatically to be placed at 15 centimeters from the closest corner. So if I click, if I snap, if I hover the mouse here, it would snap to this point, 15 centimeters. If I, if I hover the mouse here, it will be at 15 centimeters from this corner. Okay, so I'm going to do it here. I click and the double door has been inserted and the, the wall lines have been fixed and eliminated. All right, I'm going to create a different door, so I right click once to restart the previous functions, which was the, the door joinery items. And now I'm going to go for the single door, it's going to be placed in the interior with respect to the wall thickness. This time is going to be placed at uh, 10 centimeters. Let's put it like this, and with a frame, uh, sorry, with a main slab of 0 0.725 meters. It's going to be open completely, and I press OK. So now, if I click on this, if I hover the mouse on this wall, as you can see, it'll snap to be at 10 centimeters from the closest corner. If I do it here, it will be from the other corner. Okay, insert it. I'm going to do it the same here. All right, and now this one will be centered in this uh, wall. So I right click to restart the previous function and I'm going to indicate or specify a centered inside insertion along the, the wall length. Press OK, and now I, I don't have to worry about calculating anything else. Just click here and the wall will be placed exactly inside. In the center. All right, let's go for the windows. So I right click on this. Windows. I have three different types of windows. Let's go for a window with an, a window seal. It's going to be placed in the interior, a fixed distance of uh, 3.5 meters from the closest corner. We're going to be starting a placing windows here. So I want this window to be placed at 3.5 from this corner. So 3.5 one sash and the length of one meter perfect so i go here and i hover the mouse over this corner and the window will jump will snap to be placed at 3.5 meters from this corner so i click and i got it already inserted the next window will be the same but at 25 centimeters from this one so right click 0 0.25 okay go to this corner and i insert it with the back we can do this very easily for this i have to select this option which is stretch area and make a box that includes the four windows and now i can move it along this axis so i indicate or specify the direction which will be towards the left and put 
type the distance of 0 0.5 and now as you can see this window starts instead of being at 3.5 as we started will start at 3 meters now the wardrobe I have to click on generate items go to wardrobe sliding panels 60 centimeters press ok change the color and place it here here we go okay we can go for the next function which will be the insertion of blocks for the layout of this project okay now that I've created uh, the 2d view of the countertop I'm going to show you one interesting method of uh, inserting blocks into the the project with the back cut for this I'm going to select the insert block function you get this window that will show all the blocks that have been used or have been used in the project right now we don't have anything and the different insertion methods for this I'm going to use the file note that with the back we have uh, when once you install the back you have more than a thousand blocks that are focused on interior design and architecture so if you download and install the program you will be able to have access to all those objects and blocks right away so I'm gonna choose one of them this one and uh, I press OK and here we have the preview of this um, uh, sync we can use different methods, we can insert uh, this sync at a specific coordinates of the project this time I'm gonna do it manually, so I'm gonna disable this option I can insert this uh, block with a different scale a scale factor and the interesting method is the rotation options so if I enable rotation, I will be able to to specify a rotation angle before inserting the block into the drawing so I'm gonna enable this but once being inserted, once inserted, it can auto-rotate with a certain inclination. So if I insert it at one position and I put an inclination of 180 degrees, the block will rotate automatically 180 degrees once it is inserted. And then the auto-rotation will let me uh, change or modify the rotation angle of the insertion depending on the orientation and angle of the lines or the walls so you'll see this very quickly so if I enable auto rotation I can press OK and it will detect the directionality or orientation of the walls and as you can see it will auto rotate without having to do any click at all this can be with any line or any wall the thing is that once I use this object snapped options and set this base point into this line it will be placed exactly at this point I want this object or this block to be placed 10 centimeters away from this side of the wall when I insert it so for this I can right click to restart the previous function without inserting the block and I can set a distance this time I'm going to put 0 0.1 because this block will be inserted at, se at 10 centimeters from its negative axis once inserted so I press OK and now I can indicate this point and once I click as you can see I've used this base point to, to insert it but now automatically has been moved 10 centimeters towards this axis uh, once, once inserted okay um, another just a normal insertion method of the back cut is just the normal one I can just go to insert block go to file go to this furniture press OK I'm gonna disable auto rotation and inclination and uh, the scale factor I'm gonna put 1.1 to make it just a slightly bigger press OK and now I can rotate 90 degrees pressing shift key and clicking or 45 degrees pressing uh, holding control key and left clicking so now I can insert this block here okay uh, for the sake of the speed of this uh, webinar um, I'm going to open another project that I have with all these blocks uh, inserted in the layout so we don't have to see 
one by one how to insert them. So I'm just going to open this block, this project, and here we go. All these blocks have been inserted using the different methods of insertion of the back. One thing that I want to show you here is the possibility of um, uh, converting or transforming lines and polylines of the back or other softwares into walls of the back. So I go to polyline and I'm going to create a line that goes to this direction with two meters and now this direction. And now I'm going to create an offset uh, of this line to create the thickness. Go to offset, specify this line. I'm sorry, I have to indicate the, the thickness. So I go to offset, now I type 0 0.05, let's make it 5 centimeters, and I click on this point and this point. Okay, so right now at this point, I have um, two lines that are polylines. All right, these are not walls. You can see that if I go to the joinery items and I choose any door, let's make it a little bit smaller, for example, 60 centimeters and open, uh, free insertion, that's fine. As you can see, it doesn't detect these lines because they are not walls. It detects these, as you can see, because these are walls of the back, but not these. This will happen if you import any DWG file into the backcat, which remember that the backcat is totally compatible with any file format of DWG. Okay, so how to fix this? Very easy. I just have to use this function that is called convert lines to wall and now I'm going to choose this one and this one and automatically the bag has created these two lines and has transformed them to be polyline. I'm going to do this with these two also. Perfect. Now I can do the same thing as before. Go to January items, use the same door, I'm going to change the color. I'm just going to keep it in magenta and now you can see that the bag is detecting these two lines and they are walls or partitions of the back cat. And of course, I can easily insert this door. It's another function that is gonna allow me to, um, to um, uh, interact with the walls or partitions of the project. You can see that I'm gonna change the color to green for the next uh, object, and now I can open the pillars function. Here you can see the different uh, base points that you can use to insert uh, default uh, pillars. The default pillars consist in a circular shape with, of course, a customizable diameter and a rectangular shape that will allow you to create squares or changing the length to create a rectangle of any size, length and width. We're going to keep it a rectangular and how it comes by default. And also I can use this, um, this uh, option, this function is called place away from walls that will allow me to uh, place the pillar at a certain distance from two references of walls. So let's keep it as default, five centimeters from this wall and five centimeters from this wall. But I'm gonna use this reference instead. So five and five. Okay, so I have to press OK. Now I have the pillar. I can of course use the shift uh, key to, to rotate uh, 45 or 45 degrees. That is no problem. And now I can click on this wall to set the first wall and this wall for the second one and as you can see the wall has been the pillar has been inserted at five centimeters from this one and five centimeters from this one a wrapping option that will create the wrapping uh, inside of the wall with a certain length or thickness in this case or depth so five centimeters let's keep it like this I press OK and now I press on this point and this point and as you can see the wrapping has been created automatically around the pillar this is very powerful and very interesting function of the back cat i'm going to change the color to yellow and open this cavity and axis lines function i'm going to choose cavity and i can set the distance to cavity from any of the two sides of the walls and the cavity depth I'm going to keep it as default, I press OK, and check out this. I just have to press on this button, and I have just created a cavity inside of the wall. If I do the same here, 
as you can see this is something extremely fast and easy to use now I have to um, enable this new thickness press automatic and check this out I go from this point to this point and here we go I got all this dimension in just two clicks let's do it here Spreads from here to here here we go from here to here and uh, for example let's do it here also as you can see right now this dimension it appears vertically but if I want to change this orientation I just have to go to the dimension that I've created and set the orientation to be horizontal I press OK and all the updates will be automatically in the respective dimensions so the layer has been created but there is no information there is no objects assigned to that uh, layer yet um, I can use the smart selection function that allows me to um, to select automatically all the objects with the same characteristics I can make a combination of attributes and objects as you can see I can go here to objects I have all the elements and possibilities of the back cut so I go to dimensions I could even specify if I want to select a specific dimension style but I'm gonna keep it with all of them dimensions I go to OK and now I have to select all the floor plan and as you can as you can see all the dimensions have been selected so now I just have to assign these objects to the dimension um, dimension uh, uh, layer and now I can hide it this is very powerful and, and allows you to save a lot of time. Another uh, function that we can use for uh, using the interactivity with the walls is the area calculation function. For this, I go to uh, this option here and now I can go to enclosed area, for example, and I click here. I click here. So you doing this, if I click in the inner side of a wall, you can see that the back is now automatically selecting, highlighting all the area that is going to be calculated. It's using the boundaries of the lines uh, of the walls or partitions that are defined as such in the back. And now I can just place this calculation, area calculation here. I can do it with the walls here, this room, over here as well. So I just have to go to this uh, icon here. You can see that the general report function is uh, empty. But if I go to add items, it's going to ask me if I want to insert all of these uh, general items. It's going to create a visual representation, a graphic representation and preview of all of these uh, general items in the project with the amount and the quantity of them and its respective uh, values. So. I just need to set uh, the default uh, door height, window height, if I want the wardrobe with a separated compartment or not. So I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, it has um, now sh uh, inserted or added all of these um, uh, objects, all of these genre items. With the length, of course, I can change the, the height uh, and of these doors. For example, if this one is going to have uh, 10 centimeters, uh, 2.10, so I just have to change it here no problem it's telling me the amount of units um, of each one of them the, the two doors the five windows um, etc so I just have to go to create drawing and after doing this I have a new file with a visual representation of each one of the generic items that I've used in this project the description the slab if it's left hand amount of them Okay, the backcat has the possibility to not only uh, change the um, or automatically create the dimensions of all of these elements using the, the the walls and partitions as reference, but also if I make certain modifications in the geometry, for example, I want to stretch all this area. Note that the dimension will be also modified so yeah I want to thank you all for attending this new webinar I hope that this uh, this quick presentation of some of these features allows you to understand and to to see 
uh, how promising and how powerful this tool can become for you. Remember that you can use any of the D DWG files from other softwares to insert them in the backcat and make final adjustments and speed up a lot of processes. So I encourage you to download and install the beta version. Check it out for yourself. You have all of the resources available in our website. And uh, again, thank you all for attending and see you in the next webinar. Goodbye.